Amber Heard clearly hasn't been brought down by what happened last year with her trial with Johnny Depp, as she's still clearly not afraid to voice herself, as she's recently come out blaming Jason Momoa and accusing Jason Momoa of abusing her and bullying her on set of Aquaman 2. It was just being silly. And also accusing the entire DC studio of trying to get her removed from Aquaman 2. And while I'm not saying that you should automatically call her a liar, it is going to be hard hard for fans to believe her when she comes out making these claims when she was literally proven to lie in court against Johnny Depp. And on top of that, you also have the director of Aquaman 2 coming out and saying that these accusations are completely false and that Jason Momoa was nothing but professional on set. And you also have multiple people from DC Studios backing up this claim. And so regardless of what you think is the right thing to do, whether or not to believe Amber Heard or not, the fact of the matter is that people aren't going to believe Amber Heard, and that's going to result in people not wanting to go out to the cinema and support this movie. And while we all know what happened last year with Johnny Depp, and we know that things didn't end up very well for Amber Heard, I do think things are only going to get worse when it comes to this situation around Aquaman 2, because it no longer just affects Amber Heard and her career, she's going to cost these studios millions of dollars. Because her new movie titled In the Fire recently came out to horrible reviews and also a horrible performance at the box office. <laughs> which was driven by people saying, do not support anything that Amber Heard is in. And regardless of what you believe around Amber Heard, you have to face the facts that people don't want to support her in a movie and people don't want to go out to the cinema and watch a movie that she's in. And coming off all the negative press last year, I'm sure this was the last thing she wanted. But on top of that, I'm pretty sure this was the last thing DC wanted as they would be panicked right now, given the fact that all this Amber Heard drama is being drummed up once again. Oh no, not again. I'm sure they believed that things would die down since the case last year and that there wouldn't be much talk around Amber Heard leading into this film. And I'm sure they knew that this movie wasn't going to do as well at the box office as they probably projected because of the Amber Heard drama. But I'm sure they're really panicking right now, seeing as all this Amber Heard talk is starting to trend again and people are coming out voicing their opinion on Amber Heard, which all began with the fact that she has now accused Jason Momoa of being a bully on set. And honestly, if there's one actor you don't want to accuse of anything, it's probably Jason Momoa because he has such a strong fan base and people always come out saying that Jason Momoa is such a likable guy and he's one of the nicest guys in Hollywood. And so when he gets attacked, a lot more people are probably going to come to his defense and they're going to attack Amber Heard right back. And as a result, Aquaman 2 is about to lose millions of dollars. And with the fact that her movie In the Fire is being affected so badly by what she's done in the past, I can only imagine what's going to happen with Aquaman 2, given the fact that it's such a big project on such a bigger scale, meaning that the talk is only going to get louder and it's probably going to face even more of a negative backlash than this In the Fire movie. And also, Warner Brothers would have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this film and hundreds of millions on marketing for this film. And so they're bound to lose over a hundred million dollars at the box office. And that's if they're lucky. I honestly believe they're probably going to lose between 200 to even 250 million at the box office. And this is now the second movie this year for DC Studios that is going to bomb at the box office, not because of the quality, but because of the actor that's in it. As we recently saw The Flash do absolutely horrible numbers at the box office despite having okay critic reviews and okay audience reviews the box office numbers definitely didn't reflect that and that's because the mad goose wizard was in the movie and we all know what went on with Ezra Miller the countless allegations against him him even being proven guilty in court and actually pleading guilty himself in court and of course there was that notorious body cam footage of Ezra Miller assaulting this bar twice in a row I filmed myself when I get assaulted 
for NFT crypto art. And that all resulted in The Flash losing a lot of money at the box office. And this is now going to be the second DC project to do that this year. And I know people will come out and say, look, that's not DC's fault. That's not James Gunn's fault. And it's not. Those movies are losing money at the box office, not because of the quality, but because of what their cast and crew did. However, DC were already in a bad position leading into these movies because of what DC did as DC never quite found their footing as a universe with their DCEU or DCU, whatever they want to call it now. They never quite found what they wanted to do with that universe, never had a coherent vision, and their movies reflected that. They put out a lot of horrible projects, movies that were nowhere near the quality of other superhero movies coming from the MCU, and DC were honestly in a horrible position with the stories they were telling and their ability to create a a good film. So they had already lost a lot of money with their movies in the past and they were definitely not in a good position financially before any of this occurred with Ezra Miller or Amber Heard. So while you can say yes they're going to lose money and it's not their fault, the problem is they were already in a bad position and are now going to lose even more money because of the stories they told. Whereas when you look at Marvel, their recent movies haven't been performing very well. They've lost a lot of money at the box office. However, they were successful for 10 years leading up to this. And so now when you deal with the consequences around Jonathan Majors, or if they were to have any issues like what's going on at DC with Amber Heard, they're in a better position to take that financial loss because they were profitable for 10 years. Whereas DC weren't really profitable ever. And you could argue their only really good movie was Man of Steel. All their other movies were just average at best. So they were not in a good position, and that is entirely DC's fault. The only person that it's not their fault is James Gunn, because he just took this position as head of DC, and he hasn't had any opportunity to have any creative control over what's going on at the company, and now he has to deal with what's going on with Amber Heard, has to deal with what's going on with Ezra Miller, and so that's not his fault. However, he did make the crucial decision of getting rid of Henry Cavill, and I'm sure he really regrets that now because he would be the only actor that could bring any sort of positivity to the DCU as now they're dealing with the consequences of their one hero to start off the DCU being Blue Beetle not really being loved that much with no one really going out and watching the movie or caring about him and now he also has to deal with the consequences around Aquaman and Amber Heard. And to make things even worse for this film there's already rumours coming out from behind the scenes of DC Studios suggesting that they're going to completely reboot DC and remove Jason Momoa from his role as Aquaman and make him a villain in the new DCU. Meaning that this movie is just utterly pointless and everyone knew it was going to be pointless because they're starting again with the new DCU beginning with Blue Beetle. However, people thought that Jason Momoa would remain as Aquaman because he is loved as that character. However, these rumors have suggested that they're going to remove him from Aquaman and he's going to play a villain making this entire movie just a waste of time and a lot of people aren't going to go out and support this film because of that reason, also because of Amber Heard. So it has two things working against it right now, along with superhero fatigue. I think this movie may just be the worst box office performing project from DC and possibly any superhero movie ever. And the only positive thing for Warner Brothers and DC right now are their movies outside of the DC. CU, which continue to perform really well, as we recently saw the Batman, we also have the Joker, and now we're getting the Joker sequel, and we're also getting to see the Batman sequel with Robert Pattinson, and so those movies will perform strongly for DC, that's what they have going for them, however their universe, as they want to call it, utterly sucks, and is only getting destroyed even more because of all that's happening right now with their cast and crew, and with their stories just not being up to scratch. But what are your thoughts on this Amber Heard situation? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.